Hey everyone, today we will be starting our first lesson and it is an all about me abstract artwork. As you can see, this doesn't look like a person, place, or thing. And so that's gonna be abstract when we're talking about art. So it does look like lines, it looks like shapes, but it doesn't necessarily look like a person, does it look like a tree? Um, and it doesn't look like a landscape or anything like that. Now, what do I mean by all about me? Well, to create this artwork, we are going to be using a sheet that has all of these little prompts. Look, there are four this way, four that way. So four times four is 16 different things that we can answer and draw on our artwork. So if we look at Miss Santiago's, so I'm gonna turn it sideways for right now. We can see that I like pizza, so I drew a yellow zigzag. I have an E in my first name, so I have a blue swirl. I have a green circle for my brother, only have one brother. I don't play a musical instrument, so I don't have a purple dash line. I don't have a dog, so I don't have a wavy line for red. I do have two sisters, so I have two pink hearts. I can wink, so I have an orange loopy line. When I made this, I was wearing something red, so I have a red square. I don't have brown eyes, so I don't have a yellow spiral. I like chocolate ice cream, so I've got a blue wavy line. I can tie my shoes. So you can find a purple circle on mine. I can speak French and English. So I have an orange zigzag on mine over here on the side. I've been to the beach. So you can find a green dash line on my artwork. I do love to read. I read every single day. So you can see a yellow loop line here. I'm not missing any teeth because I've lost all my teeth and they've all grown back. So you won't find a green line on mine. But guess what? I love art class. So I have a purple spiral over here. So that tells you all about Miss Santiago. And we'll be creating something similar today. So what I need you to do, let's follow this example and then you will be creating on your own. So if you look at the sheet on your table, we will be using oil pastels. Oil pastels are very similar to crayons. So at this time, we're gonna get our paper. I'm gonna hold off. And the very first thing we're gonna do is write our name. Now you can have your paper sideways like this or tall. So. I'm gonna write my name with my black Sharpie on the bottom right corner. So it can be right here or it can be right there. So I have my name on the bottom right corner. I'm gonna use my oil pastels. These are oil pastels. They're light crayons, but they're very creamy. And when you paint over them, they have this nice little wax resist or this little oily resist, just like a moat at a castle. I'm going to use my sheet and I'm gonna answer the questions. I'm gonna follow the front and I'm gonna read it like a book. So I go top row, go across, second row, go across, third row, go across, and fourth row, we're gonna go across. So if you, it says favorite food here, but if you like pizza, you're gonna find a spot. It can be big, small, sideways, upways, and you're gonna draw a yellow zigzag. I'm going to make mine go all the way across the page. And then I'll put that back and I'm going to go to my second spot. And if you have an E in your first name, you're going to draw a blue spiral. This can go on top. It can go above. It can go below. It can be big. It can be small, but I'm going to draw a blue spiral. I'm going to be a little bit firm. I don't want to break it, but I also want it to be a nice spir uh, solid line. So if I need to go back over it, I can. I'm gonna go to my next prompt. If I have a brother, I'm putting a green circle. You can use the light green or the dark green. It can be big or small. 
anywhere on your paper. Remember, I can't play a musical instrument, but for this demonstration, I'm going to put that on there. So if I play a musical instrument, I'm creating a purple dashed line. It can be sideways, it can be upright, it can go over a shape, under a shape, whatever you prefer. All right, let's go to our next line. If I have a pet dog, I'm putting a red wavy line. And maybe I want it to stop right there. Again, this is called random order. So I'm randomly placing my lines and shapes. Okay. Now, if I have a sister, I'm putting a pink heart. But I'm putting a pink heart for each sister. So I have two sisters. And I'm going to put them beside each other because me and my sisters, we are friends and they want to be beside each other. But you don't have to put them beside each other. You can put them anywhere you like. Can you wink? If you can, let's put an orange loop line. And mine's going to go over that dash line. All right. If you're wearing something red, you need to pull your red out again and draw a red square. Red square anywhere on your paper, big or small. Do you have brown eyes? I actually don't, but for today, I'm gonna to show you how what we're doing. We're putting a yellow spiral. So look, I layered those two on. And what happens when we put yellow and blue together? It makes green. Do you like chocolate ice cream? If you do, you're putting a blue wavy line. What about being able to tie your shoes? If you can tie your shoes, you're gonna put a purple circle. And look, I put my purple circle inside my green circle. Can you talk two languages? Do you know French, Spanish, or another language? If you do, you're gonna put an orange zigzag and that goes up, down, up, down, just like a little mountain. Have you visited the beach? If you visited the beach, you're gonna put a green dash line. And this time you're gonna use the light green or the dark green. Do you like to read? I love to read. So I'm gonna put a yellow loop. And mine's a small loop right here at the top. So even though I'm not missing a tooth, a lot of us might be missing a tooth. So if you are, you're gonna put a green line. I'm gonna put a green line right here between those two hearts. And then finally, my very last uh, space is for Love's Art Class. And I hope I find a purple spiral in every single one of your artworks. So I'm gonna put a purple spiral right here. So now if you look at my artwork, it is completely full. I've used all 16 of the options, but as you know, my original one didn't have all of them because I'm not missing a tooth and I don't have a dog and I can't play a musical instrument. So what that's gonna show me is everything about Miss Santiago. This one has everything about everyone on it. Now, I have things on top of each other that's called overlapping. Some are big, some are small, some are going diagonal, some are short, some are long, like these, but all over, covering my paper with these shapes and lines. The second part of our lesson that we will do when we come back is paint over this oil pastel with our tempera cakes. Now, let me put my tempera cakes to the side, or put my paper to the side so I can show you the tempera cakes. In order to use these properly, I have to put water, paint, paper. Water, paint, paper. And these are dry right now, so look, there's not gonna be any paint on my hands. I gotta put my paintbrush into the water, and then I'm gonna choose one color. How many colors? One. 
I'm gonna choose one color. I think I'm gonna choose this time, this pink. And I gotta swirl, 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 swirl. Look, I really gotta get it going. So like I might even put more water until my paintbrush is the color that I wanna paint. And then I'm gonna go over, painting directly over that oil pastel that I just put down. And I'm gonna go cover it. Is it okay if it gets on the table? Of course. Now what happens if my paint is scratchy? It's thirsty, so it needs more water. So look, if my paintbrush starts to get scratchy like this, I need to go water, paint, paper. And I'm gonna keep repeating this until my entire paper is covered. If it gets on the table, it's okay. We will be cleaning up at the end of the day. Remember, we're using one color. One color. Water, paint, paper. Water, paint, paper. until there's no white spaces left and everything is covered with paint. And I just realized that you might not have been able to see that whole thing, but water, paint, paper. And so now you have completed your All About Me artwork. Remember, your artwork can be upright. It could be this way, but we're gonna choose one color for your background to create your All About Me abstract artwork and have fun. I hope to see some amazing artworks.